before I get started, I'd like to bring it in a little closer just to say something that I feel very personally about. And this is just a quick freebie PSA for everyone out there. You don't have to wear these with your civilian clothes. There is actually no rule saying you have to wear these at all outside of the uniform. But uh, I digress. Sorry for getting so so serious on you guys. So like I said in my last video, I am going to be doing a short little four part series on the course I'm in right now, which is Bradley Leadership Course, or I'm just gonna call it BLC, which is the first of many acronyms that will be talked about here. For those of you unaware, BLC is a general familiarization course that's about a month long for people going to mechanized units, specifically ones with Bradleys. For those of you who do not know, also, Bradleys are what's known as infantry fighting vehicles, specifically the ones we're training with are M2A3s. There are other variants, but we're just sticking with the normal infantry one. You might recognize Bradleys from the latest Call of Duty, where it shoots for a whopping 30 seconds and then is completely murked and no one seems to care, which made me feel really good about my job. I personally have gotten all of my Bradley experience from playing an inordinate amount of Battlefield Bad Company too, and I also plan on leveraging that experience to help me get honor grad for this course. So the first week is very, very simple. It's a lot of rote memorization of specs of the Bradley, different parts of it, what they do, and how to use them. It boils down to memorizing just a metric ass load of information every day. For those of you wondering, one metric ass load is equal to 1.2 normal ass loads. The military uses the metric system generally, so sticking with that. The setup so far has been you go to class, you spend all day in the class learning different things, and then the next day you take a test. The tests are pretty straightforward. It's all rote memorization about certain things, most of which are TLAs. TLAs, for those of you who don't know, is a three-letter acronym. Yeah, funny, right? But there's so many of them that my brain feels like Dr. Steve Brewell when he tries to pronounce DVD. DDV. DDV. BBV. DDV. Come on, you dangus. BDV. BBB. And I'm not even joking that some of the things he said are actually things we had memorized for the Bradley. And it's also things like you don't think about. Like for example, there's a keyboard right in front of the commander on the Bradley. But no, no, it's not called a keyboard. It's a commander data entry tool. And heaven forbid you call it a keyboard in front of one of the instructors. There's some light hands-on stuff that you do while in the maintenance bay downstairs, but that's just basically familiarization with the different design controls and actually seeing and touching the things you've been learning about in class all day. I don't have really any footage of this past week, so this video is gonna be really short, only because it was all classroom work, and I also can't show everything that we do just because there's a lot of, I won't say classified stuff, but stuff that's for official use only that they display in the class that I can't really put on the internet. And that'll also kind of come up as a general theme with some of the stuff we do. Like for example, I can't just film the inside of the Bradley. There's systems and computer programs in there that I can't film, and I'd rather not risk getting anyone in trouble by me filming it and then trying to censor it and they're not doing a right job. So a lot of the stuff, if I'm just talking about it and not showing it, it's not because I didn't want to film it. There is a lot of cool stuff in there, but it's simply because it would be very dumb for me to do so. Which I've always thought was funny is that everything that I know personally that is like classified, and I say classified very loosely, it's nothing crazy or important, but everything I know that falls into the category of stuff I'm not really supposed to talk about outwardly, it's some of those boring stuff on the face of the planet. Like, and I mean the driest information you could possibly ever think of. For example, once I was trying to film us using simulation rounds while doing a village clearing, and I got a very stern talking to from a sergeant who was in charge of it, basically saying that it was illegal for me to film it because it broke OPSEC. His basic point being that if I put this on the internet, all the enemies will learn of our tactics, and then we'd all get killed because that's the go-to blame for anything you do wrong in the military. But that said, the training that we did was less tactical than like a 10 year old airsoft party. So you be the judge. This is me exposing everyone that says they know highly classified information, that it's actually all very, very boring and you probably wouldn't care about it regardless if you had access to it. Next week will be simulators and it'll be a little iffy on what I can film in there. When I can't film, I'm gonna have to kind of feel it out as I go. Typically the rule of thumb I'm gonna be following is don't film any screens because that's typically the stuff that has the software that we're not supposed to show. And also simulators in my case are literally just big cargo boxes inside of a big warehouse that you get into. And the inside looks like a Bradley, but the outside literally just looks like crates that you'd find in a warehouse. Is there anything left you wanna talk about? I apologize for just two videos in a row of me sitting here talking at a camera. I try to avoid that as much as possible simply because I find them boring myself, but this video is more meant to be informative more than anything else. The rest of the videos in this series will be much more 
visually appealing, I promise. On that note, I'm gonna have to go reshoot the bin in the closet with my cat because he didn't do it right. <laughs>